Hey everybody, it's Sears Ox Bigley. Welcome to, sadly, uh, my last fan box for the year uh, due to budgetary cutbacks on the Ox Bigley channel. Uh, this is going to be the last one. So, this is fan box horror for October 2020. The properties are Treehouse of Horror, Us, American Psycho, and Halloween. So, uh, here, let me see, uh, maybe I can use uh, this thick pin of Vegeta to open up the cell tape on here. See if that'll work. He has very sharp hair, so that did actually work. <laughs> so, and they did promote that there's going to be a signed Wii Upon in here. So, uh, give you lot first first look. Something fell out. I'll check that in a second. Ah, come here. I found it. <laughs> oh, really? I need to clean my phone. <laughs> this is covered in here and everything, but this is from Reanimator. This is the evil Dr. Man who... Ah, had his head severed and put in a tray that he was carrying around himself. So, there's that, and let's see, I'm just gonna reach in. Oh, something big and heavy first. Oh, ooh, ooh. Uh, let's see. This may be the weapon of choice from that is signed. Don't know what it be. So let's see. I don't know how this is signed, but uh, I haven't seen this movie. This is from Us, um, which is a. What does it say? Welcome to the family. <laughs> uh, you are now one of us. Okay. I wonder if he's actually cut anything. Nope. Not at all. But yeah, just as a decorative piece, gold uh, scissors now. I don't know how much of gold these actually are. These are plated, but uh, it would have been nice if they actually worked. <laughs> but that is cool nonetheless. Um, it would mean more to me if I had seen the film, which I will probably remedy that soon enough. So that's really cool. Bam, more. Uh, and the bag that came in. So, let's see what else. Ooh. That's the weapon. I'm going to leave that to last. That, okay, I'm going to do it next. That looking like a knife. <laughs> uh, how in Smig's name do I get this open? <laughs> there is ah some tape here. I'm assuming this is from Halloween, but I want to know who signed this. That is the uh, importante portion of this. So, let's see. This is a Cafe Craft uh, chef's knife, um, specifically a butcher knife. So, let's see here. A. Michael Cerner? Michael Gerner? I'm not sure what that says, but that's who it is. Alright. I'll put this way into the... Uh, into the package. So, let me see here. And, of course, the cert just tells me that it is indeed what it is. Uh, it doesn't tell me who signed it, so... 
I love sellotape. It just sticks to everything except for what it's supposed to. Be. Of course, it is Beckett certified, so that's awesome. But it doesn't say who who signed it. So that's going to be in a cheat sheet, which is coming up in a moment. That's kind of cool. Regardless to, to whose signet that is, that is actually kind of cool. Okay, this is from Treehouse of Horror. This is a uh, a melted Homer. You gonna focus on that? Me? You see, I got I got a new camera, so or a new phone rather. So can we can can we try to focus? Is that possible? You jerks. Run. You bug it. Well, it kind of looks like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, I think the only thing net left is the art print in the signed... Um, well, the photo was in... The knife was in lieu of a photo, so... Some artwork of uh, that guy from uh, American Psycho, covered in blood. So let's get on to what the cheat sheet has to say, and this is a little bit of a higher quality cheat sheet than what I normally see in here, and I don't have a scratch off card. All right. I think they said they were running low on those or something, so that could be. Uh, okay, celebrity autograph, the knife. A uh, total of nine actors have donned the Michael Myers mask, and every true horror collector will want to nab them all. Knowing this, we are excited to bring you a knife signed by A. Michael Lerner. Sorry if I, I completely misspelled... That's an L? Sorry. Um, hey, Michael Lerner. Lerner terrorized the screen as Myers in Halloween 6, a curse of Michael Myers. Okay. Uh, Lerner has a long career as an actor and stuntman, uh, having also worked in the 90s uh, on such hits as Total Recall, The Shawshank Redemption, and the Twin Peaks television series. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the fan art print that I cannot get the bloody camera to focus. Maybe maybe I just don't have it turned on for autofocus. Anyway, uh, even casual fans of The Simpsons look forward to the early Treehouse of Horror episode yearly. I'm sorry, I can't read. Uh, 2020 marks the 30th straight year for Treehouse, so we're celebrating by doing our biggest crossover. Yes, because there was, if you had the, um, the BAM Geek Box uh, you would also get Treehouse of Horror, so it was in there. So the other two, uh, other than Melting uh, Homer, you would uh, Demonic Flanders and two of the Tentacle Baby. So a gl glowing one, and then one is not uh, not glowing at all. Fan art print. Uh, we've never forgotten the first time we saw the dark side of Patrick Bateman. In American Psycho, this month, artist Brian Mathy, uh forever enshrines the real Batman doing what he does best. Uh, Kill ruthlessly with glee, working on Wall Street. Lost all of its appeal after seeing Christian Bale in his iconic performance. The prop replica, which is actually really, really cool. Uh, Jordan Peele is proving to be an Modern day Alfred Hitchcock. I haven't seen any of his movies, so I can't can't agree with that. Uh, but he is critically acclaimed, so that is something. Uh, as his first two films have delved into the thrill, uh, delivered. Man, I can't read. Uh, his first two films have delivered on the thrills. Our fingernails didn't survive watching his second film Us uh, and these scissors are one of the major reasons why. Artist select card for the second print uh, second part of the reanimator duel 
Artist George Vega brings Dr. Hill's decapitated head. I pair it with last month's Herbert West card to see how they line up. Also, keep an eye out for the holofoil version of only 100 made. So, uh, you can see the difference in the uh, the Bateman uh, artwork, which I only have. I had the regular one. Uh, this is the super version, and then this one here, it's very hard to tell, but the prosthetic head that he used from the an animatomic, anatomical uh, dummy uh, is not present on the other one, on the special version. So, that was your band box for uh, October 2019. What was my favorite ones out of here? Um, the scissors, if, if these were usable, <laughs> I mean, I know that they're Either, or they're a prop, but um, and they're there or there. You couldn't cut what toilet paper with these, probably. So, but I mean, it's still a pretty cool because I know like this was like an iconic thing in that movie, which I have yet to see. So, see, so uh, it doesn't say what it's made out of, it doesn't say if it's like some carotid gold or not, but this is still pretty cool and in a really cool uh like jewel case like this so that's cool the knife is cool um, I have seen actually I can I can technically say I've seen um, was it Halloween 6 I think it was in the theater um, I guess brought there it was, it was strung along by, by my brother <laughs> to go see that uh, yeah so that was uh, the box um Big, big, big thanks for, for BAM for, you know, providing awesome stuff uh, over the years. Hopefully I will be able to return to them at some point. Uh, I know that they they have capped before here and there. Um, like I said, just it's not in the budget at the, at the moment for the channel for me to do that. Uh, if you would like that for that to change, uh, I do have Patreon. Um, if you'd rather just do a... Or what are they were, uh, <laughs> PayPal <laughs> donation. <laughs> My brain's gone today. Uh, then yeah, that's uh, I have at least the, uh, the the Patreon on my channel uh, links there. I will put links in the description as well. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And coming up next. A little sneaky, sneaky peeky is I have this this boy. Yep. So see you for that. Bye.